Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a pregnancy update, which was highly requested from you guys, so I figured I would do it. This will probably be my last one, to be honest, because there's not really that much to update you on. Um, not much has changed, but I probably will do another pregnancy routine, like an updated one, even though my routine hasn't really changed all that much from what you have already seen. So I wanna be careful not to be too redundant, but I'll probably do another one of those. Um, maybe like what's in my hospital bag and a few other pregnancy DIYs that I've been wanting to do. And that'll probably be it for pregnancy because I'm getting closer to the end. I said that to my mom yesterday, we were out eating and I was like, I'm getting closer to the end. She's like, no, you're not. And I looked at her, I gave her the stare down. I was like, yes, I am. <laughs> I was like, don't you tell me I'm not near the end. No, I'm just kidding. I am 27 weeks. So coming up to my third trimester, uh, yeah, getting close to the end. Um, this is about the time when I um, definitely start carrying like a lot of water weight. I mean, my whole kind of, my whole body changes when I'm pregnant, you know, from breaking out to my hair. In my third trimester, I start to get really swollen like in the face and in my fingers and, you know, I just, <laughs> it's like, it just kind of starts to go. But you know, the first time I was pregnant with Oliver, I didn't really know what to expect. So I didn't know what was happening, but yeah, now it's like, this is just a part of it. And I'm just happy that the baby's healthy and everything's going really smooth and just want him to stay in there until he's healthy enough to come out. And you know, that's all I can really ask for. He's healthy. We've gotten all the tests done and everything comes back that he's doing really well. So I'm just, I'm happy, I'm cruising, I'm happy I don't feel nauseous, my hair's not falling out anymore, which is a really good sign. <laughs> it was like starting to bald, it was really bad. Um, I still get really tired, like if I sit down for a long period of time, I'll fall asleep. But yeah, 27 weeks growing, every, every time I go to the doctor, they're like, you're doing great, you're, you know, everything looks good, so. That's pretty much all I can report at this particular moment. There's really not much else to report on. I will show a little belly shot, but I figured today for this particular video, I might just show you guys a few things I got for the baby. I haven't, you know, to be honest, I'm having another boy and I have so many boys clothes. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I don't really need to get a bunch of new stuff. I did get a double stroller. Um, and I have the Peg Perego booklet stroller that we loved for traveling. We've, you know, we've, we've actually taken Oliver to quite a few places. We took him to Japan and we've taken him to um, Seattle and Alaska and all over the country, really. We've taken him to Texas and Orlando and just, he's kind of been a little traveler with us. And the booklet was really great because it would close really fast. And when you're in an airport and you just need to be, you know, you need to close up the stroller and put it to the side to get on the airplane really quick. It was just one of those strollers that was really easy to open and close. And um, I actually had the Bright Tax when he was first born, which is great. Um, and then I still have the Bright Tax Marathon um, car seat. So anyway, I got the Peg Perego booklet double stroller. I love that brand. I actually have, um, the feeding, what? Pregnancy brain, cannot remember what it's called. The feeding table, <laughs> um, high chair. I have a high chair from Peg Perego, which I love. It was definitely a little bit pricey, but I knew I was gonna use it for however many kids we end up having, which we're pretty sure we're done after two, but you never know, so I'm gonna keep it around. And um, I love it. It's still in like mint condition. I love the stroller, so I got that, and then I got a new car seat, because our other car seat was kind of like, a little, we have the marathon for Oliver and the first car seat we had when he was very first born is a little beat up. So everything else has just been kind of, um, you know, like little doodads here and there. I got some more Aiden and Anae swaddles. I actually found these at TJ Maxx for $12.99. These aren't the bamboo ones, which the bamboo ones are a lot softer, but um, I wanted to try these out because as the bamboo were so soft that when I would swaddle him, he would just break free. They're not as soft as the bamboo, but I'm hoping they'll work better for swaddling. So I got these, you can find these on sale at TJ Maxx and various places. $12.99 was pretty good for two, I felt. Um, I also got at TJ Maxx this nubby baby led feeding 
suction plate. I'm gonna open this guy up just to show you. Can I get him? Come on. This was $7.99 at TJ Maxx, which, you know, this is for when the baby's a little bit older. So this was $7.99, which I thought was a great deal. Microwave and dishwasher safe, BPA free. So you just put this down, it suctions, and then you can put the food on there. This next thing is a tiny bit scary, but I really did want to try it. Only just because I feel like it's heavy, but I'm going to be holding the bottle for, well, I'm going to be breastfeeding as long as possible, but I wanted to get glass bottles. So I got these Advent, Advent? Is it Advent? Or, oh yeah, Advent um, for newborn. So you can see they look like this. So I didn't bring bottles with me to the hospital when I had Oliver, um, bottles and formula, and that was one thing I regretted um, and I wanted to do this time because they don't really provide bottles and formula, but my milk didn't come in and I wish I had something to give him a bottle because he got jaundice. And from my perspective, I feel like if I would have given him a bottle sooner, it may have helped prevent jaundice. I want to at least have that as an option. So I'm going to have some formula and um, some bottles with me just in case my milk doesn't come in, which it didn't last time until kind of, gosh, he had already, we were already checked into the hospital for jaundice by that point before my milk came in and they were already feeding him formula. At that point we had taken him to the, um, there was like a, a children's hospital where they put them in the beds for jaundice and everything. And um, they already started feeding him whatever formula they had. So I ended up having my mom go and get the formula that I wanted and that I preferred. And so this time I just want to be a little bit more prepared because I, I wasn't at that point. Um, I had everything else except for that. So um, I'm bringing that with me to the hospital. And then I just got like one little pair of baby pants. I have so many pairs of baby clothes um, from Oliver in all different sizes. But um, one of my friends gave me a great tip to shop the cotton on sales section for kids clothes. So these were five bucks. How cute are these? I haven't seen a pair of tiny pants like this. Oh my gosh, so cute. So Cotton On has the greatest deals for kids clothes if you shop their um, clearance section. So I did get a new diaper bag. This is a Nena and Co diaper bag. I actually got this on eBay. I saw this particular style because they have one of a kind. So once they sell out of their styles, you can't ever get it again. Um, and I'm actually gonna be doing a giveaway of one of their bags on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me there. I'm gonna be hosting one in the next month or so. Um, but I saw this particular style on uh, Pinterest and I was looking everywhere for it. I ended up looking on eBay just randomly and this was the, this and one other Nanako bag showed up and it was the exact style that I wanted. Um, so I ended up getting it. I got it at a fraction of the cost, which was super cool. And this is what I'm gonna use as my diaper bag. It has these like little side pockets for bottles right here. These are the most beautiful bags. They're handmade. They're super unique. They're made with um, dresses that are recycled and every bag is unique and totally beautiful and awesome. And I still have my black um, diaper bag that I had with Oliver. I'm gonna keep that around. I mean, it's still in pretty good condition. So just in case um, I need it for whatever reason, but I really wanted kind of like a purse that doubles as a diaper bag. So this is the one that I got. So inside I have the covered goods little breastfeeding cover. It also can go over the car seat. I got this in gray and white. I love this covered goods kind of breastfeeding cover. I got the Aiden and Anna dream blanket, which I also had for Oliver. He still uses to this day and he loves it. Um, I, can't, I think this is called Midnight something. I'll put exactly which one it is below. These are the softest most cozy, lovey. Oh, these are just so sweet. And Oliver is still obsessed with his. So I got one for his baby brother as well. And I just actually kept it in here to give the bag a little bit of structure. So, um, so yeah, if you wanna get win one of these bags, I will be giving one away on my Instagram. But um, that's what I'm gonna be using for 
my diaper bag. So that pretty much completes this uh, update in this haul. There's, yeah, like I said, there wasn't so much to update on. Everything's going really smooth. And I am going full steam ahead into my third trimester. Getting, I'm hungry, I can already, <laughs> my stomach's growling. It needs more food. I'm constantly hungry at this point. And um, that, yeah, everything's going good. I feel great. And I, you know, got a few little things here and there for, the baby and um, I'm probably not gonna get too much more. I'm not having a baby shower just because there's not really that much more that I need. We're gonna use the same crib and a lot of the same stuff. I definitely did wanna get a double stroller and get a, um, a new car seat. Those were two things that I wanted to make sure we, you know, we got. But besides that, everything else, oh, and I got my little diaper bag. But besides that, we kind of have everything we need. So we're really excited. We're getting closer. And uh, yeah, I will show you guys a little bump date. I'm wearing this dress from Carly Jean Los Angeles. She is my friend. And I've been wearing a lot of kind of like <laughs> pregnancy dresses. I can't wear, honestly, I'm at that phase where I wear the same three or four things for the rest of the pregnancy. So <laughs> I'm not much of a fashionista. Maybe I'll do like a haul or a collective haul or something once I'm done having the baby and I get a few new things. But all right, so that completes this video. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. And I will see you very soon. Bye.